Hello everybody. Here we are in our garden in Orlando, Zone 9B. We've had a pretty big update, so we were going to put a little quick video out. We have recently been able to obtain quite a lot of mulch, um, more wood chips, which is what is great for breaking down and creating really good soil, which we don't have much here in Central Florida. It's more sand. So we had the great luck of coming across quite a lot of them, and we decided to just go ahead and, and start the big part of this. So we've watched some really interesting videos and um, learned quite a bit about soil regeneration and creation, in fact. A lot of really knowledgeable people out there on YouTube, and um, we really appreciate them sharing their knowledge, but it prompted us to go ahead and decide to clear out a lot of the more invasive things that we knew that were existing in this back lot. And once we did that, my husband decided to just cut it down with a weed whacker, pretty much, to the level you see it's at now. And we are then going to line it up with these really nice wood chips that we got a hold of here. I'm not quite sure of everything that's in here, but it's there's a lot of really good stuff in there. So um, a lot of green material in there along with the wood itself. So that'll break down really nicely and create some soil for us back here on what is to become our food floor, forest floor. Don't say that fast. So yeah, just kind of giving a little bit of a update around here of what's going on. You can see we've already lined in a lot of the wood chips pretty deeply. They recommend going quite deep to ensure that you're getting rid of the weeds you don't want to grow back. Kind of drowning them out while still allowing the soil to do its breakdown and allowing the mycorrhizal processes to occur. So we've taken quite a large swath of the yard here that we're going to be dedicating to this area all the way over to the elder. My husband is in the process of laying down the rest of the mulch now. We've got quite a large amount of it, so let's show some more updates as the day goes on. Okay, so it's later the same day, and wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow, my husband has filled in all of this now. So, if you back up in the video, you'll be able to see... This didn't look like this earlier, so... Great job, honey. Um, now, he wanted me to remind everybody in this video that it's preferable to do this mulching, um, developing your forest floor soil situation before you plant your trees. We did not have that because we've been kind of doing this slowly over a long time um, and just really ramped it up lately. So we've um, kind of put the cart before the horse a little bit, but it's okay. This will still feed your trees and do well. And you want to note that as thick as we're putting this down, which is how many inches? They recommend at least eight inches probably to a foot. We put about eight inches ourselves and we'll keep adding more as it settles. But as you can see, we dig out a little space around the actual tree itself. So this is the mulberry. There's the star fruit, the Jamaican cherry, June plum avocado, 
Over here we have our Japatacaba. The Barbados Cherry. Pangelo. And the mango. This one got some grass clippings around the side too, as you see. Looking good. So, a lot of cleanup done this weekend. Getting ready to turn this into a forest floor. In building this floor, this is kind of what we were starting with. A mix of grass. This is the sandier area. Back long before we bought the house, this area back here had some oak trees and stuff in it, which had been taken down by the time we purchased the land. So this had a little bit more soil quality to it than the rest of the sand. What has been done now is <clears throat> taking this down really low as it's going to be mulched over, but with these trees up here, the grasses were dug out using a pitchfork style, um, this huge fork, looks like a big garden fork, iron, cast iron thing that my husband was using to dig out the ground here and then put down this wood chip layer. Contrast that with over here where this was a little bit more sparse, didn't have as much of that grassy type situation going in, just more invasive type weeds that had to be dug out a little bit by hand. So this was a little easier to take down just with the weed whacker and then place down the wood chips around the plants. So always just pay attention to the area that you're working with first. That's learning as you go. You always have to kind of adapt to the situation you're in. And we're back with the silly Tangelo trying to bloom. And now, considering that we think this is a successful situation, as you can hear, the weed whacker is going in the front yard. To be continued. Happy gardening.